Hi folks, I did a review about six months ago on the Samsung Galaxy Europa i5500 Android mobile phone. Now, good news for all Samsung Galaxy Europa owners. The uh, upgrade from Android 2.1 Eclair to Android 2.2 Froyo is now available through Keys. It has been available um, for a short while if you're prepared to root your phone and upgrade the firmware that way. But the Keys update came out just a couple of weeks ago. So I now have the updated software on here. So I thought it would be good to perhaps revisit the phone and just explore some of the extra features and functionality. The first thing I noticed when I switched it on is if you use the uh, the security system that they use on, on the uh, Samsung phones, which is basically to draw a shape rather than use a password number, the, um, I noticed that the, the actual dots are smaller and spaced further apart. Not too sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, actually. Um, I actually think it's a little bit more difficult to use, so not so good on that one. But a slightly different um, um, interface in that the logos at the top are now different. Um, slightly different colour schemes, slightly different logos. So when I upgraded the firmware and I saw that, I thought, this looks interesting. This looks like we actually do have the new... Um, the new version of Android on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this phone switched on, we'll get into it, and we'll just have a look at some of the new features. Okay, so here we are with the phone on, we're in, and uh, the first thing I also noticed as well is some new um, apps that, uh, that came with it. And there's a news and weather app, which is exactly what it says it is, so you can basically set your location on that. This has actually got the wrong location on it because it's not picked up the right one. Um, so it'll give you the weather and you can just scroll through it to pick up the latest news article. So that might be something useful for you. And um, There's a social hub application, um, a voice dialer, but perhaps the most important thing, and you can't really see that very well so I do apologise, is a task manager. This was missing from Android 2.1 and I did actually download a task manager um, but I've now taken it off because I think this is probably going to do the job. So not only are you able to view um, any active applications so and, and close them down, um, you can also view the amount of uh, memory that's being used. It will also list the, uh, the applications that uh, have been installed and you can uninstall them through this as well. Um, at the moment no active applications running and also a summary which will also tell you um, how much space you've got left on your external SD card as well. Very very handy, very very useful. There is a change to the interface as I've said. This is uh, noticeable in a number of applications. First of all the settings screen where the logos down the side are now in full colour rather than being in monochrome. And there are a few little subtle changes. So for instance if you go into your email manager again a slight change of colour scheme but um, an absolutely um, well a fantastic function might be overstating it but very useful is that you can now easily scroll through your emails using these two uh, arrows here. You didn't have that before. Um, it was there, but you had to dig around for it. So it's really good that that's now um, come to the fore as well. Um, also, one of the things that you can do, and I know people have been waiting for this, is you can now transfer applications onto your SD card, which is uh, very, very useful because the phone only has limited memory, of course. Now, this will take up to a 16 gigabyte card. They only have a 2 gig in at the moment. Um, but if you were to go into your application, so we're going to settings and then applications. And by the way, the, this menu here has changed ever so slightly. Um, go into manage applications and then pick any of the applications that you've got. So I'm just going to um, go into Adobe Reader just for the sake of. Uh, argument. You now have an option down here, so I apologise that you can't see this, but the option here is move to SD card. So you can then move that application onto the SD card and uh, continue to use it. If you've got an application on the SD card and want to move it back, you can do that. Applications will by default still install onto your phone, so you need to install them onto your phone and then switch them across, so that's very very useful. Um, one thing I do want to say 
because I know there's one reason why many, many users will have been waiting for Android 2.2 and that will have been so that they can use Flash. Now unfortunately you will not get Flash capability with the Android 2.2 upgrade. This is because this phone does not meet the minimum hardware specs for Flash. So you can you can try downloading it and it will not work. I tried going onto the Adobe site and it would not let me do it. I could not download it in the market. In fact, it doesn't even appear in the market. I managed to get it um, from somewhere else in, uh, and actually load it onto the phone and then install it. it. Installed, but it still did not do anything. So if you were wanting uh, the facility to view Flash on your phone, well, I'm sorry, it ain't going to happen. Um, on the Samsung Galaxy Europa. Um, however, I did download a browser called Puffin, which is a browser that allows you to view Flash content without using Flash. So it will play Flash content and doesn't need Flash to do it. Um, it cost me a few pence. It's the only app I think I've ever paid for. It's not a browser that I would use all the time. I still think the browser that comes with Android is the best browser, but if I do want to view Flash content, then that's the one I would use. So that's kind of your only option with it at the moment. So a little bit disappointing there, I guess, but um, no amount of upgrades is going to change that, I'm afraid, um, just because this phone is not powerful enough. So if I want Flash, then I'm going to have to get a new phone. But other than that, though, I have to say, and um, I mean, that's just a very brief overview. The main differences are in the interfaces and the way the menus have changed. I think they're more intuitive. Um, and, you know, I can forgive that initial screen where it's a little bit more difficult to get past the... Uh, get past the security setting that really it's only a small thing really overall a very useful and worthwhile upgrade and if you've got this phone and haven't upgraded yet then i would recommend that you do it thanks very much for watching